Have you ever wanted to freeze part of a frame in iMovie? In this little tutorial, I'll show you how to do it quickly and easily. iMovie allows you to add a freeze frame to any video clip, and that works just fine. But sometimes you don't want to freeze the entire frame, but just part of it. Combining expert content on outdoor adventures with videography tips and tutorials. Visual Adventures with Kurt Papke. First, a little bit of housekeeping. This tutorial was made with macOS Monterey 12.6 and iMovie version 10.3.4. The first thing you want to do is add a marker to the spot where you want your freeze frame to begin. Then go ahead and hit the share button to save the current frame as a still image on your high drive. Put it someplace accessible. I'm just putting it into my downloads folder to make it easy to get to. And you can see it popped up down below where my downloads is next to the trash bin. Now go ahead and select that image to bring it up in the preview app. We'll make it full screen so we can see what we're doing here and get in close and zoom in to uh, where we want to mask out me hiking through the Grand Canyon. Select the markup tools so that you have the, uh, the lasso and rectangular selection tools. We're going to use the smart lasso to go around uh, this rear image of myself. It, it does a reasonably good job of uh, finding the, the edges of what you're trying to cut out. But uh, it's not perfect, but what you'll find is that uh, it doesn't really have to be perfect. And then I'm going to use the delete key, which is going to convert this JPEG image to a PNG. And now I can do another section of uh, the outline around me. And we're just going to continue on until we have uh, all of me cut out here. All right, now we're going to zoom out and we're going to use the rectangular selection tool to get rid of the, uh, the other portions of the, of the image that weren't immediately around me that you really couldn't see while I was zoomed way in. And it just takes a, a couple rectangles, uh, and after I select each of these rectangles, I'm just using the, the delete key to get rid of that piece of the image. I will go up to the File menu and uh, save our work. Make sure we have a current copy saved to the hard drive. Okay. Now we can uh, get rid of this preview frame. We'll cancel that out and then uh, go ahead and go down to our downloads folder and uh, take that now trimmed one. And now our marker comes in really nice and handy and positioning it right back to uh, where we were. Now we'll just extend that out and voila, there is our... Uh, our freeze frame where uh, it leaves behind a little chunk of me. And this can be done repeatedly if you want to uh, have several of these little freezes uh, left behind you in your tracks. Just to add a little bit of theatricality to this, I went and downloaded from YouTube a green screen uh, lightning bolt. And now I'll take a little piece of that and drag it right in front to kind of uh, give the user a uh, give the viewer a, a cue that something is about to happen here. So now when we play it back uh, with this green screen uh, lightning bolt, it uh, kind of leads right into that freeze frame. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this little tutorial useful. And if you did, please click like or subscribe down below.